It's the start of day two. It's a cold winter's morning, but it's not that cold. At least it's not raining, it's not frosting. This lake takes us 46 kilometers from Zonkwas Drift all the way to Bridgetown. And uh, it's going to be fast this morning. Uh, yesterday was more like an experience, a nice experience. Today it's going to be more tongue in the cheek, a little bit about navigation, a little bit about survival. Because bear in mind, seven kilometers from here, you have a massive tree block that's waiting for you where you have to portage. Then eight kilometers past Gouda Bridge, you start going into all those gangekis, complicated, very technical section, but uh, we wish them all of the best and we're waiting for them at Bridge Town. Day two is the critical stage of the bird, with the third and final stage starting in a batch format. The second stage is the kingmaker stage and so often decides the winner of this race. Day two started with four boats together in elapsed time. Stage one winner Jeremy Maher, Tom Lovemore, young Dave Evans and the undisputed king of the berg, Hank McGregor. There was serious drama early on as McGregor got caught in trees above Choda, allowing the other three athletes to get away, hardly believing their luck. But McGregor thrives on pressure like this. He ground his way back alone, caught the leaders and then fired the afterburners. He was well clear at Trainbridge and Three Hevels Weir and he reached the overnight stop at Bridgetown over two minutes before Lovemore and Maher, with Evans dropping off the chasing bunch to finish a further four minutes back. We came to like a split and I decided to go take a right hand channel. It looked like there was enough water um, and I was just relying on the last time I went down there was about like 10 years ago and uh, it was a 50-50 and I was like one of my 50s has to turn out alright and uh, to be honest I actually didn't know where uh, Jeremy uh, was after that um, but that's the bug, you know um, I was feeling strong um, you know, I, was, I would have been happy just with a stage win if it was an end sprint, but to, to have a couple of minutes in the bag um, going into the next two days, it's always, it's always great, you know, and, uh, but the race is far from over and the young guns are keen to, uh, to put their hand up for, for the win, so it's going to be exciting the next two days and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I think no day is easy on the bag, whether it's 76 or 46, it's, um, it's really tough. And I think you cross the line every day thinking, man, I can't go another meter. <laughs> so I think um, to get through without any problems, you can't really ask for much more. But you always just have in the back of your mind that you've got another day and a day after that. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. But um, yeah, we've certainly got a long way to go still. We were still together at about 25 k's. And then there was a, a tree block. Hank and I managed to get away. And we sat with each other probably for about 10 or so k's uh, past train bridge. Um, and then, yeah, he took one channel, I took another one, and yeah, didn't see him again. In the women's race, Christy Shrimpton's train kept speeding down towards the west coast. She extended her lead over Bianca Bevert to almost eight minutes, with Ansonay Besson hanging on to third. Day three is the biggie. It's a whopping 72 kilometers from Bridgetown to Zoetkloof. Paparazzi, uh, hey, we're ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the biggie duck. Um, just to finish in one piece, and um, I would like to stay ahead of my um, age group. And yeah, that's my main goal: stay in my boat. It's a physical challenge, it's also a mental challenge. Your first achievement is to make it to the start line. So prior to that, you have to start working on endurance training over and over and over again. So you have to get that mindset to tell yourself, well, I'm not going to the office now to sit for eight hours behind the computer. Today I'm going to sit eight hours with the ego meter or then more than that on the river itself. So you'll have to do a lot of training, 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 it's repetition, repetition, repetition. But eventually you have to break down that mental block where you can say, well, I can do it, I'm going to do it. Yes, I'm on my way. I'm feeling good, a little bit stiff, but yeah, I think the tree blocks will be interesting today. Um, but yeah, glad it's shorter than 
shorter than yesterday. I'm, yeah, excited for the day. Oh, I'm nervous this morning. Yesterday was a, a long day. So it helps to be fit and trained for these things, which I didn't do. No, I just hope, hope to finish in time because I, I'm battling with the 70 plus people. So it's my 40th uh, if I finish this year. So uh, then I, I, I think I must call it a day. Yeah, things are a bit sore. You, you got some reminders of like what, what it feels like to sit in your boat for, for, for too long. But today is just about trying not to get too lost. I think the guy, the person who gets lost the least will, will do the best. But that's fun. It's part of why we do the Berg is for the adventure. Yeah, if it was predictable, it would be more boring. But anyway, we're going to have a good day on the river today. The weather's good and there's a decent water level, so that's all good. Um, it takes determination, um, grit, the willing to put in the hours, to shove bananas in people's faces. Um, it takes a lot of skill as well and good driving. Well, this year is my 20th. I'm trying to complete my 20th. It's, it's just the challenge, you can't explain to anybody, but when you finish a, a stage or a berg like, um, you know, it's, it's something you can't explain. It's just such a, a big challenge and you actually learn a lot about yourself to never give up.